Hello everyone, my name is Clementine. Welcome back to Clementine Creative. I'm back with another video. This is another one of those older videos I did that I never had the chance to show you. Uh, well, until now, so I guess I did have a chance to show you. Um, uh, but basically what we're doing here is we're combining two badass things and you know making a design out of it. So it's a fairly easy design. We're combining knights, which by themselves are already cool, and weapons, which by them, guns. I'm gonna say guns, which by themselves are already cool. Uh, so it's a very relatively easy design. No, no, no challenging things because everything we're using is already by itself badass. So it's really easy to make. Uh, so, but we are combining, you know, elements. I'm sorry if you can hear my chair. By the way, squeaking. It's a very squeaky chair. Um, Again, we are combining elements from two different eras, which I thought was interesting, and I'm pretty sure people have done this before. Um, but it's something that I wanted to try uh, myself. So, you know, I had this idea and I wanted to draw it out. And, you know, if you want to do it, why not do it? It doesn't matter if other people did it, if it's for fun or if it's for YouTube, I guess. It doesn't, the originality uh, when, you're, when you're just trying to get something out of your head is not really that important. Uh, but you are trying to still have some, you know, some of your elements, you know, something that makes you uh, so people recognize that it's still your work. But again, I'm combining elements from different eras. I probably said that the second time now. Um, and that would be guns and knights. And I must admit that knight armor looks very crappy and boring in real life. I mean, it looks good for real life. Uh, but if we compare armor from video games to real life, you can see a clear difference in which one is cooler uh, visual-wise. Uh, as far as uh, efficiency goes, um, you know, the ones in video games are very hard to actually operate in real life but that's why video games exist so we don't have to you know we don't have to live in the real world uh, i've seen a lot of debate you know uh, there has been a lot of stuff going on about um video games you know especially women surrounding women um how a lot of these women are over sexualized uh, uh, and i agree uh, we des as designers we absolutely do that and that is uh, for a reason to quench the thirst of our consumer. Uh, because at the end of the day, somebody is going to be buying it and there needs to be an element at which people want to spend money for. And uh, as, as sad as it sounds, uh, designing unrealistically sexy women is one way to do that. Um, but I don't think that people or in general women should be that, you know, offended by it. This is still now, relatively speaking, a fantasy world. Um, and believe me when I say this, that no gamer uh, expects any woman in real life to look like the ones from video games. It's because it's unrealistic. We, we realize these women are not how they look like in real life. And um, it, this is just something we do to escape the real life. We live in a world that is not possible. That's the whole point of video games. Just like movies, you know, we're lost in a movie world uh, where I guess a lot of movie scenarios these days are you know, possible, but some of the romantic movies, let's say, which I know it's weird that I associate romance with women uh, in, in, in sense that all women like romance movies. Not at all, but if we take examples, since a lot of people like this example, uh, a lot of the romance in movies is uh, not how real life works, sadly. <laughs> Um, so it's not like women go there and expect men, you know, to act like, well, some, I guess, do. Uh, there's always, you know, there's always extremes, right? There's extremes in, in everything. Um, but my point of saying is that it's not like you go s somewhere for the realism. Uh, you go it for, you know, to, re to basically have a stress relief to be able to do something. Uh, just like GTA, it's very popular for its murdering capabilities where you can kill almost anything in that game uh, Grand Theft Auto and the reason why people like that and it cannot imply to real life is because people know that in real life there's consequences for such actions and they, a lot of people wouldn't be able to bring themselves to do that but in video games uh, it's very easy because there's no consequences and nobody actually died it's just a video game character and knowing the difference between real life and a video game is very important not only when we're dealing with you know, violence in video games, but also when we're dealing with, you know, women over sexualizing women, or even in general, uh, I guess, any kind of uh, over exaggeration in video games should be considered as an art form. It is what it is. It's there to, you know, entertain people. Uh, but it, in, you know, in uh, no aspect of life would anyone 
uh, that has some, you know, <laughs> intelligence level thing that women in real life would look anything like the games in vi game, women in video games. Um, but it is a great way to escape reality, to have fun, and it's, uh, uh, it's to live out your imaginative world. And of course, it's not meant to be as an insult to anyone. Um, but it can be a little bit, you know, annoying. Uh, I can see how some people would not like that. And that's why video games are not for everybody. Uh, just like some movies and some and some other things, like other type of entertainment media is not for everybody. Um, not sure why I went down this route, uh, but I always wanted to talk a little bit about it. Um, again, video games, you know, should be left what they are. They're video games, they're meant for entertainment purposes. And, uh, you know, you, we try to just keep it at that, you know, and just make it, you know, we do this, we enjoy playing it, but we don't expect anything in RL or in real life to look anything like a video game. Uh, the whole purpose of a video game, again, it's to just lose yourself in this imaginative world that somebody created. Uh, again, I'm kind of sorry that I went this weird route. M might even be some controversial things that I said and people might not like. Um, it's just generally how I think that video games shouldn't impact our real life too much. Uh, you know, and if you don't like something, just don't pay attention to it. You know, uh, I feel like it's much easier on on, uh, on you, yourself and other parties that do enjoy, th you know, video games and anime and, you know, things that have, I guess, a little bit um, bended reality. Uh, but n nonetheless, I hope you enjoyed this video. It is a bit, uh, you know, short in terms of how much I drew. Uh, but I still hope you like these designs. Um, you know, I think, again, I created something that's fairly easy. Guns and knights by themselves look really cool. Um, and I didn't get to finish the fourth design. I did start on it, but I never finished it. So we only have three here. Uh, but yeah, again, thank you for watching this video. Thank you for watching this video. And I guess I'll see you Everything in the next changes. one. Bye.